We are very pleased that we could organize the fourth International Congress on Deuterium Depletion. Uh, four years has passed since we organized the, the last one. Uh, at that time, we could see just, just in the last four years that the number of uh, papers uh, sharply increased, which are related to deuterium depleted water. It, it is getting evident uh, for the science that the deuterium depletion has, has a real role and the deuterium itself has a key role in the living organism. Of course, the primary focus on a, on a cancer drug development and cancer uh, uh, drug regulation. And everybody, we can say from Shanghai to Los Angeles, can confirm that the lower deconcentration concentration can inhibit cell growth, cancer cell growth, and can trigger the necrosis of tumor cells. So, so we can say that the deuterium hydrogen ratio is a key signal for the cell, whether multiply or not. And, and because the cancer cells has a damaged mitochondria, the cancer cells very easily can uh, reach the deuterium hydrogen ratio to the threshold, which finally causes that these cells grow without any control and, and, uh, the, and the patient is getting sick. Our main focus, the first uh, presentation was mainly about the molecular background and the biochemist part of this uh, hydrogen deuterium ratio. The next uh, presentation I will say, this is about the application of deuterium depleted water. We followed over 2,000 uh, cancer patients and the data what we can prove and what we already has published, uh, they are real shocking. Uh, so one of the final conclusion of my presentation that just in Hungary, if the deuterium depleted water and the deuterium depletion would be a part of the oncotherapy, which is our primary aim, we should reduce the deaths with 25,000 patients per year, which means in Hungary, 32, 30,000 patients die every year, and we should reduce it to 70, 70, 500, uh, uh, this death rate. This is so, so big difference comparing uh, to the existing therapy and, and just following the, the, the mortality of the cancer in the last 30, 50 years, that it's, it's obvious we have to move into that direction, the oncology should recognize finally and, and, and accept the data that all the scientists worldwide collected and, and proving the anti-cancer effect of deuterium depletion. We also know that deuterium is not, has a key role, only the cancer grows, but in the metabolic disease has a key role. And those information which, which is coming back from, from worldwide we are sometimes very shocking and surprised at what kind of indication the deuterium depleted water uh, showed some, some impact, some positive uh, impact. So, so we believe that the idea which uh, I started to prove in, in 1990 when I worked for the Nature Institute Oncology and I started to investigate the possible role of the nature occurring deuterium is, is, is a key mechanism because regulate all the biochemical and genetical processes on a submolecular level. And everything in the living organism will be decided on that level, changing the DH ratio or depleting the DH ratio, and that will govern the molecules, the genes, what to do, and the cells will do everything according to the, to the rule what the DH ratio uh, uh, suggests for the cell. This is what you have to do. We have speakers for, from eight different countries and, and uh, audience from 13 different countries. This is alone, these two numbers is a clear evidence that, that the deuterium depleted water is, is well known worldwide and, and so many people is getting involved. So we can uh, find, we can meet people here. They are building a factory to produce deuterium depleted water from China, Germany, Romania, Russia. So uh, it means in the near future, in the foreseeable future, the number of the patient, or the number of the companies and scientists will, will increase. And, and we will get the critical mass when, when, when the world will accept our data and our results.